this is this is miserable, and uh, I feel like this is a sign from above or something. Uh, everything that can go wrong is going wrong, but I'm still gonna keep pressing until it gets too dangerous. All right, good morning. It's Thursday, uh, seven seven a.m. I think in this time zone. I did 590 miles last night. I slept for maybe six hours, and uh, I'm gonna try and do 690 miles today. Uh, that'll break Terry Hirscher's record if I can do it before 4 a.m. I'm pretty exhausted. I don't have caffeine yet. Uh, I'm gonna try and do 105 miles on 92% charge. Uh, then I can get some coffee and a quick charge, and uh, see how I feel from there. I kind of got a late start of the day, and. I didn't really refill my batteries, so I don't know. I'm not too optimistic, but I'm, I'm crazy enough on that. I just push through it. Uh, so I'm in Utah on I-70. There's a stretch of 105 miles between chargers. I only have 94% charge, and uh, it's uphill. <laughs> and as I'm riding, uh, I got this this chat group of, of uh, Energica, an electric motorcycle rider, and enthusiasts that are giving me advice and helping me out and stuff. And uh, <laughs> my watch is going off, and it's like, He's going 105 miles uphill <laughs> in the desert. <laughs> it's not encouraging, guys. Not encouraging. <laughs> um, I got 33.6 uh, miles down. Uh, it says I've got 82 left on this charge. 63% battery. It's, uh, it's the uphills that scare me where it's like, oh, you've got 50 miles of range. You need to go 75 or whatever, or 80. Uh, but the downhills, yeah, I got this. 55. Yeah, I've, I've been tucking the whole time. Normally, normal riding, I can't tuck. My back is killing me. Something about this ride, like, I'm just a little bit pain. So my back just ignores, like, it, it doesn't even care. I do this for hours. So, uh, fingers crossed, I'll be at a Lowe's Travel Center, drinking some coffee, getting a full charge, and, uh, you know, I'm like an hour and 20 minutes at this rate. You know, I've, I've driven across country a couple of times, but I've never taken 70 through Colorado, Utah, and all this. And I, I missed out. I'm going to have to do it in a car sometimes so I can take in a little more. I'm not freezing and worried about not making the next charge stop. Turn left onto South State Street, then turn left into the parking lot. Oh, I've never been so excited to see Electrify America stations. 7% uh, left, 8 miles of range. That was an exciting leg. Lots of hill climbs and drops and man I kept thinking I wasn't gonna make it and then I thought I was gonna make it with 30 miles to spare and then I thought I wasn't gonna make it again. Those hills man it's hard to hard to calculate range in hills. Uh, but uh, this is my first charge stop of the day I've done 105.6 miles kickstands down gotta keep checking and um, get some breakfast because I'm freezing cold and starving. All right, 95% charge, got 106 miles today, 77 miles on top to uh, the correction point to Nevada next stop. Now it's a hotel, I believe. So we'll do a little quick charge there and head on down towards Las Vegas. All right, so here's the situation. It is... 48 local time, Pacific Standard Time. Uh, it's 118 degrees according to the dash. Uh, all the Walmart chargers wouldn't work. My phone's overheating and shutting down. I came to uh, some cobble center thing that has three other chargers that I couldn't activate because my phone was shutting down. I iced it, I tried everything. The app just kept on trying to download stuff, it wouldn't work. Uh, the community of uh, energy riders, amazing people, these guys, they helped activate it remotely. I plugged in, I hung out, I chugged some water. Uh, they helped me plan out my next stop. I'm, uh, I'm going south to the southern part of, southern part of Vegas, where uh, hopefully I'll find a free charger that's in a garage, nice and shady. And, uh, my God, what have I done? Okay, uh, so that's in uh, 83 miles or so. Plenty of, uh, plenty of range, I got 90%, 111 miles, I believe it's downhill, so we just got to survive the next hour and a half, and then I'll probably set it again in an hour and a half, and we'll start ready to go again, but, uh, it's really stupid back there, I'm pretty sure I'm going away from it, so it's nice this way, I'm not ready at all to rain on 116 degrees, I will totally take some rain right now. Uh, I've gone uh, 
Chopper, so try to get Chargers to work. So, it's gonna be a tight one if I break uh, Terry Hurst's. I can't tell what this guy has over his face and his head, but I can only assume... It's just comfortable. Everyone's going to be wearing it in the future. Vegas! What? Stay left? Okay. Okay, so the GPS is still working. It's on a backpack with a bottle of water drink in the pool. But I don't have visuals. I only have audio. And I know approximately the distance when to get off to somewhere about 6 or 7 miles. It should say exit. It's like 215 or 212. I don't know. We'll listen for it. But we made it to Vegas. And uh, south of the strip, we're going to hopefully find a free charger that's kind of in a parking garage. Maybe it's a little cooler and the phone will work and I can charge it a little bit, get some water and make a plan and see if I think we got a shot at this anymore since it's 6 o'clock almost. I guess I do have 12 hours my step all night, so that's 12 hours to go 280 miles. Seems doable, not pleasant. California rain that everyone talks about slowing me down. It's this traffic. One lane, stop and go. Construction for 10, 20 miles. Oh, now I'm starting to move, of course, now I'm talking, but if I lose because of construction, <laughs> uh, I, I've got plenty of time actually. It's going to be it's, it's 8 o'clock California time. I keep on Eastern Standard Time. I don't know. It's where my head is. I might as well just do that. So 8 o'clock, I got like four and a half more hours of riding, but it's, uh, I got uh, 453 miles, so 5, 6, 230 miles left to go, Ugh. yeah, like four and a half hours of riding or more, but two good long charge stops after I get to this first one here. I just hope the packs cool down, and I'm ready in the rain, and it's been the, I was gonna say 80s, but now look, it says 96 again. I don't know. It's gonna be a long night, but I think I got this still. Woo! Alright, we're getting 10 kilowatts and a free charger just inside California. It was only like 50 miles, 40 miles inside California, but as you saw, the weather was insane. And now there's still crazy wind and uh, everything is soaked. I'm not wearing any liners. I'm going to go see if there's some place I can get out of this before it starts raining again and dry off a little bit, get some liners going. Um, this is insane. Alright, I'm really conflicted here. It's going to be really close. I keep thinking I'm not going to make it. And then maybe I can. It's going to be really close. If I charge up just enough to get basically to my hotel room, and there is a charger a few blocks away from there, so in the morning I can, I can CCS charge. And I might just need to charge like 30%. 
I'll do some math when we get there. But yeah, we're only getting seven or eight kilowatts. And then we do that and Yeah, and then I just I think we got this. If we have until 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is still two hours and 53 minutes away. I, I've got to double check Terry Hirscher's record though to see when exactly it was. I mean, how, how many hours exactly it is. This it's gonna be like down to the down to the wire on this one. So we've done 698 miles. 698.6, and I'm about to roll up to the hotel. I guess we'll be right around 700 miles. Not that it matters. I mean, I guess we, we broke the production record by like a day and some more. Turn right. So that's that's neat. Oh, oh, just, just missed it. In half a mile, turn right onto Santa Monica Boulevard. So yeah, I'm gonna go check in the hotel. I guess this is where we're gonna end. Um, did amazing with the whole production thing, right? Killed it. Not so much with chasing Terry, chasing Terry Hearst. Hearst. Oh, 0.6 miles. This is over. All right, I'm just getting it for you guys. I'm just going to end it for you guys. That sounds bad. Go past this end the ride. Turn right. Good night. Um, works. Yo. I'm sorry. Uh huh. I, I don't <laughs> no I'm good thanks well that guy's trying to scam me